We just want to remind you that at home that there are hundreds of thousands of federal employees who are either furloughed or showing up to work without pay. And among them, affecting us here in the weather community is the National Weather Service. So just like we did last week, we want to remind you that in your local offices all across the Carolinas and all across the nation, these folks are continuing to show up for their shifts around the clock in order to keep us safe and educated. They're issuing storm warnings just this past weekend here in the Carolinas as rain and ice and snow were moving through. Those folks were continuing to do their forecast, inform the public, work with the media, work with emergency management, all under the assumption uh, that we will, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, be giving them back pay here in the due future, which the government has come out and, and to, to say. But there's there's a lot of factors to this that I think that go into just letting those folks know we appreciate what they're doing because sure they will be paid down the line but you know we're hearing more and more stories as the time goes on that these folks just like you and I at home have bills uh, that need to be paid and and while we don't want to get into politics we do want them to know that we do appreciate them we appreciate their job that they're doing and I don't think we can say it any better than uh, this fella here who we're going to go ahead and pop up on the screen his name is Mark Pellerito he's with the National Weather Service employee uh, organization speaking on behalf of all of those employees nationwide. Take a listen to uh, his uh, little clip here as he talks about what it's like for these folks, these employees, these human beings coming into the office each day. Weather is a 24 7 gig. You know, the Weather Service, we're there day, night, swinging shifts, whatever, working holidays, working weekends. We're up to that task, however. It's, it's our mission, it's our passion, we love our jobs. And it's a calling to serve our country. It is difficult to serve our country to the best of our ability when we are distracted by things unraveling at home, not knowing when our paycheck is going to come. And and I think that's that's certainly understandable. I think it would be the same for for any of us in any of our jobs. And and so uh, we we hope those folks just you know, going into the office watching right now, do know that uh, we we still are uh, root for them and uh, hope all of this one way or the other, guys, gets resolved uh, sooner rather than later. I want to bring back in uh, the panel. I want to bring back in Scotty because, I mean, Scotty, it's worth in full transparency lettering of viewers know at home that uh, the show that we had promoted originally for this week and originally for next week are going to be on hold for a little while because of this. Yeah, uh, the show this week with uh, our guests from the USGS next week, uh, we are supposed to have... Uh, Dr. Ken Graham, who uh, directs the Hurricane Center. Uh, both of those uh, scheduled interviews have been postponed until we can start to, um, once we get back into the progress of the government shut, uh, opening back up and everything kind of calms down, we'll get those interviews um, rescheduled.